from Togo on the opening day. Today, we are back in action. Captain Ayub El Kabi of the Atlas Lions of Morocco. Interesting. Rufi Ahmed Hirala of Mauritius has set the ball rolling. Rwandans dressed in all blue. The run of play. The more first moment, the Moroccans made darting moves inside the Rwandan camp. Rwanda responded with that thunderbolt from Hakizimana, which was parried over the goal, the crossbar there. Morocco again struggled, but it did not pay off. The Rwandans came up there was brought down at the edge of the penalty box. Manzi Thierry. And within 45 minutes, both sides were tied and no goal either way. Morocco multiplied the onslaught. Goalkeeper Oliver Kizera proved himself up to the task. Time and again, the Moroccans camp came in. Manzi, at one point, could only say, thank you, my God. The Rwandans responded. But goalkeeper Anas Zlinti also showed that he is someone to count on. The Moroccans again multiplied the onslaught. The Rwandans waded off. This is one of those titillating moments when Rwanda came close to scoring. They came up there, beat one, two, three. He kicked and he hit, but they weren't lucky. That's the, that's the end of the match. That's the end of the match at the Reunification Stadium. Morocco and Rwanda have played a goalless draw here. In the absence of the goals, you can share the points. And that's just what the two teams have done. Rwanda now counts two. Two points on the classification table in Group C. While Morocco tallies four in top position. If we were to look at the results of the opening day here in Group C, we put the Moroccans who beat Togo one goal to nil from the penalty spot on four points. Rwanda who drew nil nil with Uganda, second on two points. Uganda on one point, and Togo with no point and minus one goal. The Ugandans and the Togolese are supposed to play the second match. Maybe the outcome of that match would modify 
the configuration of the standings in Group C. For now, Rwanda and Morocco have put up a beautiful show. It looks like these boys play professional football somewhere. Not on the African continent, but these are boys who play in their respective local championships. That's why the competition is Christian. The African Nations Championships. And this is the sixth edition. 16 teams have been called. One will be crowned on the 7th of February. And who that nation is, no one knows. The Rwandans moving and greeting the fans that have turned up at the reunification stadium here to cheer them up. This would have been One of the moments when Cameroonians will enjoy continental football by turning over their hundreds. The statistics show a net domination of the Moroccan side. 70% in terms of ball control, 11 shots, one on target, and five for Morocco, one on target. That so there you have it, both teams sharing the spoils, really so many draws in this second round of matches and it has continued here the same way Morocco being held by Rwanda and they share the spoils, however I still advantage Morocco for qualify qualification into the next round of the competition. I'll see you guys in the next one, enjoy your day.